I'm out here in Michigan with Chaotic Forager. Hi. And guess what we found? Do you guys see what I see? There's big patches of orange stuff here. Oh my gosh, what do we got? Go Gabriel, go. Ah. Holy cow, look at this. Chanterelles, right? No, no. not a chanterelle. This is a toxic look-alike. These are the jack-o'-lanterns, Omphalotus species. Wow, look at that, that is so orange. Holy cow. You wanna tell me about these? Yeah, so these are a uh, saprobic fungus that grows on dead wood, usually dead hardwood. They are often confused for the chanterelle because if you look underneath, it looks like these gills are running down the stipe in a very similar way that the false kind of, kind chanterelle of gills do. Yeah. Right yeah. If you mess with them, you see that they break. Mm -hmm. And if we sort of peel this mushroom, Oh, yeah, that's it's still orange inside. Yeah, a true chanterelle is going to be white inside. White, yeah. Chanterelles also grow in singlets or very small clumps out of the ground, not on this wood. Is, yeah, big cluster on dead wood. Sometimes you can see the spores too because they're kind of an orangey brown. Uh, chanterelle spores would be white. In certain parts of the U.S., uh, Omphalotus illidens, which is the binomial for this, will glow. They are bioluminescent, mm -hmm. not everywhere. Um, I've never seen them glow here in Michigan, but in certain parts of the country, they're said to. Yeah, you're coming with me. Solid mushroom. Oh yeah. <laughs> These won't kill you, but they are toxic and you should not eat them. Good advice. So yeah. what's, what's, what's the name of these one more time? The jack-o'-lantern mushroom, Omphalotus iliadens. Huge cluster of these jack-o'-lantern mushrooms. And there's more young ones right there, looking very orange. Wow, so they're growing all over out of this dead wood. They're poisonous. Do not eat them. They are not chanterelles. They are not chicken of the woods. They are poisonous omphalotus jack-o'-lantern mushrooms. Whoa, check out this jack-o'-lantern mushroom. Omphalotus illudens. And it is a chanterelle look-alike, but it has really orange gills and orangey spores, unlike a real chanterelle, which has white spores. And this has true gills, unlike a chanterelle, which has little ridges. You can really mess around with these gills, bend them, break them, smush them. Uh, this is quite toxic and should be avoided as an edible, but you can use it to dye fabrics. And in some places, the jack-o'-lantern mushrooms actually glow at night. They're bioluminescent. So it's pretty cool. Definitely know the difference between a jack-o'-lantern mushroom and a chanterelle. This is toxic. You do not want to eat it, but it is still a very cool mushroom, generally fruiting in big clusters on dead logs. So this is a jack-o'-lantern or Omphalotus illudens. Many, oh my gosh, so many Omphalotus jack-o'-lantern mushrooms, gigantic, gigantic clusters growing all over this tree. Woo! Jeez, so much poison. Just waiting here for you. This is definitely not a chanterelle, definitely not chick of the woods. This is Omphalotus or the jack-o'-lantern mushroom. Do not eat these. These are quite fresh. Quite fresh? Yeah, yeah, because they'll open up and that's when people start to think that they're uh, chanterelles or chicken of the woods, but yeah. they are not. They are not. not eat them. And they're just all over this tree. There's so many of them. <laughs> 